You already know who I am. I'm here to record a brand new video. This is also a new uh, video for October 1st since September is finally gone and now we got November and December until 2014 hits. And I gotta say 2014 was by far the quickest year that I think it was ever been. So for today's video, um, I know Review Tech USA has done it, Alpha Mega Sin has done it, and I'm sure other YouTubers have done it as well. But for with me, I'm gonna talk it out as well. And I don't, and if you watch this video, I will put it in the description box for you guys to check out. And what I'm gonna be talking about something that really made me pissed off, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been when they read this this article and saw the video either from Review Tech USA or Alpha Mega Sin or any other YouTuber in the gaming community. And I'm going to be talking about the 28 year old guy named Daniel John Zeitz of Roswell, Georgia. Now he was shot and killed while he was trying to sell his gaming console. So, according to HuffingPost.com, now before I get started with this video, if you guys really enjoyed these type of dis this topics and discussions, then please leave a comment section down below and hit subscribe for more videos. And let's get on to it. So, the, there was a teen girl who shot and killed a man as she and her boyfriend tried to rob the victim of, the, of his PlayStation 4. The victim, 28-year-old Daniel John Zeiss of Roswell, Georgia, met up with a couple on September 17th, after posting a Craigslist ad to sell the gaming console, the shooter is an unarmed 16-year-old girl whose 16-month-year-old baby was sitting in the car only a few feet away during the robbery, according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Now, the Sandy Springs Sergeant Ron Mormon told the paper that the suspect and, the, and her boyfriend, 20-year-old Nathaniel Vivian, met Zeiss in an apartment parking lot posing as potential buyers. The suspects were sitting in their car when Zeiss approached at about 9.30 p.m. Vivian allegedly tried to pull the PS4 into the car while Zeiss resisted. His girlfriend allegedly pulled the trigger on her 25 caliber handgun, saying the bullet through Vivian's hand and into Zeiss's chest killed them instantly. Vivian and the girl were arrested later that night when they went to Northside Hospital to treat Vivian's gunshot wound, police said. Brookhaven police were at the hospital interviewing the injured man who told him he was a victim of a crime in Brookhaven, but later told them that he was shot while he and his girlfriend were at the Legends of Dunwoody Apartments to rob a man of his PlayStation 4 video gaming system that was advertised on Craigslist. As of now, the 16-year-old girl will now be charged as an adult, though her name hasn't yet been released. Vivian was held without bond in the Fulton County Jail. The child was turned over to the girl's relatives. Zeiss, known to his online buddies as Phobos, was a well-respected gamer whose teammate had rallied to support his family with a GoFund page to cover his funeral costs. The cause has already raised more than $15,500. That's incredible. K.L. Smith, Zeiss online teammate and friend who helped start the fundraiser, told the Huffington Post that their team members may have been the last to speak to the victim. Shortly before the shooting, he was playing with his other teammates and said, Hey guys, I'll be right back. Smith said Tuesday morning, I guess that's when he went outside to do this Craigslist deal and got shot. Smith, known online as Arctic, posted a heartfelt video on YouTube remembering his buddy as a kind soul who reached out whenever their friends were drowned. And I will put the video down in the link description box for you guys to check out. The guy, you can tell the guy is a lot has a lot of pain and emotions because this was a very close friend of him. And... If you don't know who John Zeiss was, he was a very well-known, popular YouTube who was responsible for uh, the Gears of War, the Gears of War videos. Who he was an absolute phenomenon player. I will go ahead and put his channel in the description box, and I highly suggest you watch that video because the guy does a a, a great job explaining the video. And this was a close friend of his, so I highly encourage watching it. Now, on the last part, it says he was one of the, those rare people that has all the right qualities. He was super nice and friendly to the people he didn't know. 
He was always helping his teammates, his family, and his friends. It always hurts to ha have to see how much someone means to, to means to them when everyone else is gone. Now, killing someone over a four hundred dollar video gaming console is just stupid. You don't expect to have a sixteen month year old child witnessing a shooting. When the guy was trying to sell his console on Craigslist, you are nothing but a fucking idiot. You don't kill someone over a console. If you want a console so bad, get a fucking job. You have to work your ass off to build that money. Not everyone can afford a $400 video gaming console. What you've done to him is a disgrace. You should be ashamed, you should be embarrassed, and you should be sentenced. And I'm glad you are. Because the video, if you watch the video and see the guy's reaction, you can tell he was upset. This was a very close friend of his that he's known for YouTube for years. This world is just sickening. Every day, people do the most idiotic things in the entire universe. Shooting, vandalism, drugs, politics, conspiracies, theories. This whole world is so fucked up. Every day, oh, there's always something happening. And killing a 28-year-old man while trying to sell his PlayStation 4 on Craigslist while they were, quote, as potential buyers... Give me a fucking break. You don't ever do that to someone who is trying to sell them on Craigslist. From now on, if you want to sell something on Craigslist, make sure that the buyers are actually going to buy the product. Instead of just having them waiting in the car until the guy is like, Oh, you know what? I don't need my console anymore. I need that to pay my bills or to support my family or to pay rest of my insurance, yada yada, and then all of a sudden, bam, shot him. Give me a hold of yourself. The person who shot, the, shot this dude on Craigslist should be sentenced in jail. And I'm glad that she is. Anyway, if you guys really enjoy this type of videos, then leave a comment section down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. As always, I'm the Ultimate Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Man, look out for another video. Right here on my YouTube channel. Get the fuck up, my friends. Killing someone over a piece of technology is so fucking clueless. I, I, I have nothing else to say about this. My, my thoughts and condolences goes out, to, goes out to the victim. And I hope this funeral cost does keep spreading. I will put the video down in the description box for you guys to check out. It is... It, 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 I don't know. The, the guy was a very close friend of his. You can tell that a lot of emotions has been going through and he was a very close relative in the in the YouTube gaming community. I I highly suggest you go ahead and watch the video. I'm the Ultimate Gamer, so thank you thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, rock on.